People ask me, Brad, why do you have so much passion for soccer resilience? And the answer really comes from my playing days at Wake Forest. When I was a kid, I was a youth player, I loved soccer. It was my passion. And that was where I would go to get away from the stressors of life and from things in my family, things outside of that. And I was free. I felt confident and comfortable and I loved to compete. And I really had a good soccer family. We had the same players for most of my youth club days. So we were very tight and I wanted to work hard for them. And that was my experience with soccer. And my senior year, I got recruited to play at Wake Forest and I get to Wake Forest and I knew I had it in me to persevere. I knew the challenges in front, but I knew how to work hard in my personal life, soccer life. I knew how to grind, push through hardship. So I was ready for that, but I was completely unprepared for performance anxiety. Man, did I have performance anxiety. It was this battlefield inside of my head all of a sudden, and soccer went from the sanctuary to a battlefield. And now I would be stressed and I would obsess about my mistakes that I would make in a training drill or in a practice situation or in a game. And it felt so big and so awful. And I had this kind of tug of war inside my head. And while I was able to accomplish some things that I didn't think I would ever have been able to do, I was able to get some significant starts my senior year. I just love hate relationship and it was really hard. And I knew I made it hard on myself, but I never sought out any help or any solutions or strategies for anybody else. So do you think it got better? <laughs> exactly, it didn't. So when I graduated, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna help people. So I decided I wanna be a clinical psychologist. And when I started my private practice, I started working with athletes and teens and adults. And I realized they had performance anxiety too. And we had strategies and we'd work together, come up with these strategies and they would use them and their anxiety would lower and they felt more confident and they felt more comfortable and they had more fun. And I was like, yes, this is great. And man, I wish I had had that way. Man, that would have been wonderful. So how can I get more of this information to more players? I thought, well, maybe I can present to soccer teams. So for the last couple of years in San Diego, I present to boys teams and girls teams, and it's been really rewarding. You'll see that light bulb go off in their eye, like, yes, yes, I got it. And they can relate to the struggles, and now they have tools. So during this pandemic, I had a little more time on my hands and started connecting to more people. And one of the people I connected out with and reached out to was Wells Thompson. And Wells Thompson also played soccer at Wake Forest. He played seven years in MLS and in a nine year professional career. And we started talking about our passions and he loves to help kids and I do too. And he's been working with kids and I have as well and thought, what if we combine our resources? Yeah, that would be great. And that is what soccer resilience is today. What's up y'all, Wells Thompson here, former pro athlete, I was blessed. So blessed to live out my dream, play professionally for nine years. Um, I've teamed up with Brad Miller, Dr. Brad Miller, sorry, Dr. Brad, to form soccer resilience. So I think back on my career as a professional athlete, how often did I train my body? Every day, multiple hours a day. How often did I train my mind? Not nearly as enough, as, as much as I would have liked. So hindsight's 2020, right? I can look back on life and say, I could have done that. I should have done that. I would have done that. And so I believe that um, we go through things not just for ourselves, but for other people. And that's how we truly fi find fulfillment is giving back and helping other people out. So uh, me and Brad just want to help you grow your mental side of the game, um, give you tools, give you strategies to help you thrive on the field, but also off the field. Um, so stay tuned for, for more, um, <clears throat> more content. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Our website is, is about to, to get up and running, but we would just love to come alongside your team um, you as a player, um, parents, and, uh, and help you grow your mental side of the game and, uh, so that you can become a better player. Um, we believe that uh, our greatest battle lies within and that so much of life is mental. One of my favorite quotes is, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% um, how you respond to it. So if you, if, you were, if you wish you could go out in the field and complete joy and, and play in confidence no matter what comes your way, be able to bounce back from adversity and setbacks quicker, um, give us a shout. Love to help. Soccer resilience. Keep building resilience. Peace.